Okay, we have a question here. The question is find x in terms of y. x is directly proportional to the square root of y. When x equals 32, y equals 16. So there's quite a simple way to do these sorts of questions. And first of all, a lot of it comes down to how you write all this information down. Okay, so it's directly proportional. We use this sign here. Okay, and then x is directly proportional to the square root of y. Square root of y, we write like this. Okay, now what this means is that the root y times a constant, which we can call k, is going to equal x. So we rewrite this like this. So x equals k, which is a constant, times root y. Okay, and the whole point of this question is to try and find out what that k is, because that is the proportion between root y and x that we need to find. We've been told that when x is 32, y is 16. Okay, so we write here x equals 32, y equals 16. And we're just going to put those values into here so we can find our k. So x equals 32. k we don't know, that's what we're trying to find. And then root y, what's the y? The y was 16. So 32 equals k times root 16. So let's just simplify it. 32 equals k. Now root 16 is 4. So k times 4 or 4k. Okay, so that means 32 divided by 4 must equal k. And that must mean that k equals 8. Okay, so now we can go back to this thing here. Okay, because if you go back to the question, it says, it says find x in terms of y which basically means it's asking you to write down x equals something root y, okay? So the answer is x equals k, which is 8, it's a constant, so it's always going to be 8, which we've just found out, root y. And that's actually the answer to the question. That is x expressed in terms of y, okay? Now, if it had said find y in terms of x the other way around it would have had to start with y equals okay so if we want to rearrange that okay we can actually rearrange that i'll do that over here so if x equals 8 root y that means x over 8 equals root y Okay, and then if we want to get from root y to y, we need to square it. So we square this side as well. So x squared over 64 equals y. So if the question had asked find y in terms of x, then y would have to be uh, what everything is equal to. But the question asked for x in terms of y. So that was actually all we needed to do. Okay, so I hope this helps. This is a good uh, topic to revise if you're looking to get a high grade in GCSE. It's called direct proportion, the, the topic. So if you didn't quite understand this video, it's a good idea to revise this topic and practice as many questions as possible. Hope it helps. If you want regular support from me to help you get the grades you want, why not join one of my weekly classes? It's very affordable. Contact me if you want to find out more.